Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, okay, before we get started, I want to show you my outfit because I'm kind of obsessed. I got this top of the thrift store for 50 cents, okay? it's Y'all are going to get a view of the cake. <laughs> I want to show you the back, but I physically can't. Okay, whatever. It's like the Drake OVO, Drake Night 2014 top, and it was 50 cents at the store, so I practically stole it, except I didn't steal it because I would never steal anything, except for your heart. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell by the title here, we are going to be talking about how to be confident, how I became the confident person that I am, and how you can become the confident person that you are, and also we're going to touch upon being hot. Okay, because hot is a mindset. You can't tell me otherwise being hot is a mindset. So I, last night at two o'clock in the morning, of course, I was writing down a bunch of different pointers and tips that I had on becoming hot and becoming confident. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you them and I'm going to teach you every single thing that I have learned. So step one in becoming the confident person that you could be, are you ready? You need to identify why you aren't confident and why you think that you're not hot. First of all, it's definitely bullshit. Your answer is probably not real for why you think that you're not hot. I used to think that I wasn't confident and I wasn't hot and I wasn't worthy because of what other people said about me. And that is bullshit, okay? You're usually... Nine times out of ten, you're insecure about something because someone else pointed it out about you. So why aren't you confident? Why aren't you happy with who you are? Why are you being so hard on yourself? You need to identify that. So for me, the number one thing that I hated about myself was my forehead, and that was because a group of guys pointed out about how big my forehead was. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. And I wasn't confident for a long time because of that. And as soon as I identified the actual reason why I wasn't confident, I could start to work on the whole entire process. You can't just jump in on being confident, and it is like an actual process, and it's taken me literally five years to be this confident, so you gotta like identify why you aren't being confident with who you are. So in step one, identify that. Step two, I want you to grab a coffee or a tea or something because I want this conversation to be just like two friends out for coffee. I'm literally already sweating balls, so drinking hot tea is like torture right now, but it's for the aesthetic of the video, okay? So go grab some food and we can just chat right now because I want this to be a super chill video. As always, when is it? Am I ever like really not chill? <laughs> I'm never formal. I am going to tell you something that I wish I knew earlier, and this is truly the most important thing in becoming confident. Are you ready? I have never seen anyone else say this, so I think I'm gonna like trademark this, okay? Being confident is a mindset. Being hot is a mindset, okay? What you look like has nothing to do with whether you are hot or not. What you look like has nothing to do with if you can be confident or not. Okay, like let that soak in. What you look like literally has nothing to do with this. Crazy, right? Because I spent my whole time thinking that if I lost 20 pounds, then maybe I would be hot. Or if I looked a certain way, then maybe society would think that I was prettier or I should be confident. Or, oh my gosh, maybe if he liked me back, then I would be confident. Confidence is a mindset. Being hot is a mindset. The minute that you start to believe that you are confident, the minute you start to believe that you are hot, you'll be there. Okay? Nothing will change from point A to point B except for a mindset. That's it. Okay, and as soon as you wipe away your self-doubt and all of that, you'll be rushed and fulfilled with all the self-love. It's amazing. It's really amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, next point on here. Stop being so freaking mean to yourself. Okay, it's hard to be confident when you are your own worst enemy. You say things to yourself that you would never even dare to say to the meanest person on the planet, okay? And you're not the meanest person on the planet. I don't actually think there is a meanest person on the planet, but all I'm saying is you're saying things to yourself that you wouldn't even say to your worst enemy. You are treating yourself like your worst Period, enemy. Period, queen. Go off, queen. Tell him, sis. What's up with that? Because all I know is that the only person who you actually need to love in life is yourself, okay? That's the only person. So why are you going to beat up the person that you are 
you literally have to be in love with. You have literally like an arranged marriage with yourself. Take that in. Like you, you're stuck with yourself forever. <laughs> so why are you, why are you being so mean to yourself? You're stuck. You might as well love yourself. It makes your life a lot easier. When you love yourself and when you're confident with who you are, it is so much more easy to be successful. It's so much easier to live your life. It's so much easier to be happier. Because when you're confident with who you are, when you take photos with your friends, you're not trying to suck it in or you're not trying to like, oh, it's okay, I don't, I'll take the picture. No, you don't have to do that when you become confident and when you're proud of who you are. Okay? <laughs> I'm so happy. I can feel like you're becoming more confident already. I love to see it. I love to see the process, the progress. Confident people do not let other people disrespect them. Standing up for yourself is not being mean. It's simply standing up for yourself. When you're truly confident, number one, you don't bring other people down. And number two, you don't let other people bring you down. So I'm going to teach you how to stand up for yourself right now because it's not mean. If someone is... Okay, pretend, I'm gonna pretend to be the bully right now or be the mean person. Like just look, I'm looking you up and down and making fun of you. Yeah, I don't like your outfit or you look really fat or, okay, they're being rude and judgmental. This is what you're gonna say. I don't know why you think that your opinion matters to me, but it doesn't. So you should take this somewhere else because I really don't care. Okay? Amazing. Or another one. Did I ask? Because I don't actually remember asking for your opinion. Cool. There you go. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. And end it off with like a... Cool. <laughs> I looked so mean. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be standing up for ourselves from now on. Pinky promise? Pinky promise? Okay, dope. Pop it, lock it, poke it, dot it, country okay, pop it, but chalk in the sky, move side to side, jump to the left, stick it, glad. Okay, thank you. Next up. Do you notice me? Do you notice me? Yeah, yeah. I just wanna know, sorry, do you notice me? I'm thinking, okay? Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it in your career, fake it till you make it in your confidence, fake it till you make it in anything that you are doing. I'm not kidding. You guys, if you see me post on TikTok, you might think that I know what I'm doing. I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Running my business, people ask me for advice all the time or ask me for tips. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I have no idea. Fake it till you make it. That being said, also be a mystery. Pretend that you are in a movie, but imagine this. Imagine you walking down the street, you got that little like strut on, you look like you're feeling yourself. Okay, you're walking down the street, you're a mystery. Everyone who sees you walking down the street now sees this confident girl who's got her shit together because she's faking it till she's making it, but they don't know that. But you're walking down the street, okay? You're confident, okay? You're a mystery. Everyone on that street wants to get to know you. They might actually not even be looking at you, but in your head, you can imagine that. Sometimes I pretend that I'm in a movie and when I'm walking, I'm like, he's looking at me. He's not looking at me. He doesn't even, he's probably like not even my age range. He's probably like a 27 year old man just trying to get to work. And I'm like, he's looking at me. <laughs> it builds up your extra confidence, okay? Builds it up. Pretend that you're in a movie. Pretend that you're a mystery. Pretend that everyone wants to get to know you. Okay? Because you are worthy of everyone wanting to get to know you. And you are worthy of being in a goddamn movie. <laughs> this is like gonna be a video. It's like 12 minutes of Spencer hyping me upstream. Okay, next up! Get out of your comfort zone. Okay? Fear actually makes you happy. Facing your fears actually makes you like more confident in the end. So get out of your comfort zone. Flirt with that person. Wear that outfit that makes you feel a little bit vulnerable, okay? Anything that makes you feel a little like, ah, just do it. Maybe you don't like ordering food, go through the drive-thru. Freaking do it, okay? You don't like eating in front of people, you can do it. I know you can. Watch those videos on TikTok when they're, you're like eating together with the person you're duetting it. Do it. 
things that make you feel a little, oh, like a little bit squirmish, do it. It makes you more confident in, in the long run. When I was like, okay, think about this. When you're younger and you're too scared to order your own food at a restaurant, you have to overcome that. And now when you go out to dinner with your friends, you're perfectly fine ordering food. Okay? When you were younger, you were scared to talk to people that you didn't know. And now look at you. Look at you go, baby. You're flirting with the boy on the subway. Look at you go. Do what you want for you because of you. Okay? A secret to confidence is actually just taking care of yourself. Confidence is not even... It's... It's not that intricate. We make it so much harder than it has to be. If you treat yourself with full and utter respect and utter love, you will be confident because you only, as I said before, you only really need to love yourself and you need to love yourself before you love anyone else. You can't get into a relationship when you don't even love yourself. So the secret to, the secret to life is confidence, okay? Because confidence leads you to relationships. It leads you to healthy relationships where you're getting treated right. Okay? Leads you to that job that you want. It leads you to your dreams. Confidence is the secret to life. I should get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I believe I've said this before, but you need to embody confidence. You need to be confidence. And you can do it. And we will do it together. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> We're gonna do some I am statements. Y'all can be expensive, shut up. Okay. I am confident. I am worthy. Those things, say them to yourself. I am so mother effing hot. <laughs> just say it. It feels awkward, just say it. I don't even know what else to say about confidence. I believe that rejection makes you confident. And there are different ways that you can react to rejection. You can either react with, re okay. When someone cheats on you, when someone rejects you, when someone treats you like shit, there are different, so that's this bad side. This is the bad side we don't want. There are different ways that you can react to that. You could either let that bring you down and think, if he cheated on me, I was doing something wrong. If they rejected me, I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough for them. Or, or you could think, maybe I'm actually too good for that situation. If he cheated on me, he really doesn't respect me. He really does not appreciate me. He doesn't deserve me. Let him stay on this bad side, but you could be the better person and you could be like, he's rejecting me. He doesn't want me. This is happening for good. This is so that maybe this is karma or God. I don't know what you believe in. Maybe this is Jesus telling me that I shouldn't actually be with him. Whatever you believe in, Everything is happening for a reason and that rejection is going to make you a more confident person if you enter it with the mindset that you are going to become a more confident person. Being confident is a mindset. Being hot is a mindset. The moment that you start to believe that you are worthy of confidence and you are worthy of being hot, you'll get there. So you need to push away all those negative things in your head. I want you to look in the mirror and truly be like, she looks good. Like... I want you to look in the mirror and be like, I am success. I am intelligence. I am more than what other people think of me. I am more than the number on the scale. I am more than what society names beautiful. or What's the word? Something, whatever. I am more. Because you really are more. You are more than just a pretty face. You are more than what your body looks like. You are more than what other people, everything. You are more. And the moment you start to believe I am more, baby girl, baby boy, baby whoever, confidence is gonna come smashing down on you. Okay, it's gonna be like a waterfall knocking you out this confidence. So for everyone watching, I hope that this video was able to help you with confidence and how I became a confident person and how you can change your mindset to become a confident person because you are worthy of being confident. Believe it or freaking not, okay? Um, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know. I hope that this video helped you and I, I hope you wanna subscribe if you wanna subscribe down there, press the little bell button. We can chat in the comments. I, yay, I love making videos, so I hope you guys like them as much as I love making them. Go be confident. What is confidence? A mindset. What is being hot? 
a mindset. What are you? A confident, hot-ass bitch is what you are.